Hello there everyone, your fluffy armchair admiral Latter is back with some more Transport Fever 2 action. And for today's episode I have a great surprise for you. Well, I'm I'm right now on a brand new rig and I'm testing uh, various things, uh, setting up uh, my video recording again uh, because a few things have changed and obviously some of my sound settings uh, requires some review uh, hence why my microphone might sound a little bit worse than usual it might cut off uh, or perhaps there might be some other issues on the way uh, so i am right now playing the game and trying to just test various things and while i'm playing i'm obviously greatly surprised by how good that game actually looks I, I i'm not going to lie i i managed to start this game in in almost uh, full graphics settings i think i'm just short by by one small uh yeah i i just didn't set textures to to very high uh, other than that they are set to they are set to high but uh, they are not very high and uh, as you may probably hear i am moving around uh, in the game you will see that on your screens uh, soon i'm just setting myself in the right position so i can show you the beauty of of this game in in its fullest and uh, we are going to to do one of those fantastic episodes where we take a train ride and I'm I'm just waiting for for that train to to come and I'm I'm not sure if uh, if that's the right moment in fact uh, it might not be the best moment ever let me check different station uh, before I will start showing you uh, various things so the train is not here definitely um is there any any of those trains oh my goodness where are my trains <laughs> anyway um let's let's switch to game window then right so as you can see the game looks absolutely stunning it's it's absolutely brand new game i've also added some some small mods but uh, we are not here to to test mods uh, today so oops uh, so we will be uh, we will be playing the game today in a very specific way uh, I am not going to build anything because there is no point in doing such thing and uh, I believe this is the last episode of the old series one if if anyone remembers uh, I've announced that as soon as I finish with my upgrade uh, the series will end and we have now reached that point where the series needs to end I will now set up a brand new train line though uh, because there is a need of moving extra passengers between uh, Loftus and Farnham. Unfortunately my current trains are not able to, to do that because they are already full from other stations that are on the line. So I will create a direct connection between Lee and and watch it uh, so that passengers can choose this train instead of going with uh, station to station train uh, so let me just set this lane uh, passenger there we go and that's going to be uh, Lee oh um, Lee Ah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, watch it express there we go uh, 
so as this is set i believe it's the right time to buy that train and without any surprises we are going for multiple electric units and we need to pick something fast something that will definitely smash the right speed we can go with tgv uh, and this train should easily be able to reach the top speed and that's that's pretty much what we are going to do uh, we are going to buy do we need two of them yeah let's buy two of those um, and let's send them to where is that uh, that's Lee Workington Lee Watchet Express there we go so our trains are now on their way um, and we will follow one of those trains as soon as they reach end station just look at it I, I really love how TGV looks like uh, it's it's one of my favorite uh, high-speed trains in fact it it's a bit squarey <laughs> uh, but it's it was a model a model train for me uh, when it comes to how trains should look and how they should work I know that Japanese did much better job with with their uh, Shinkansen lines uh, and and stuff but I really like how TGV uh, looks like it it's really nice nice looking train just look at it isn't she beautiful <laughs> It's just amazing. This this train is just amazing. Anyway, uh, with 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 its speed of 300 kilometers per hour, I'm absolutely not worried about uh, about speed of this line. It it should be able to to reach the top speeds at uh, well before before reaching both end stations because effectively these trains will be going. Uh, throughout entire map so as we are now waiting for uh, for this train to, to reach uh, its destination I will now um, review a couple of lines that are working on uh, Farnham Central because uh, there is a couple of trains that that we need to uh, change like this one for example uh, so we will wait here on this station and catch a couple of them and and review what they are carrying what kind of carriages they are using and most importantly what kind of vehicle they are using because right now we can go for faster trains so why should we limit ourselves to 120 kilometers if we can uh, effectively change those trains to something better uh, we will still use uh, diesel locomotives but we can use GEP 42 DC which can hit speeds of 160 kilometers per hour we can use series 246 which can reach 160 kilometers per hour and there is uh, at least one or two more i believe i think br 130 can hit 140 120 uh, 100 kilometers uh, those can do 105 so they are too slow uh, british class 47 obviously 153 kilometers 145 uh, so there are some uh, some options uh, for us to to choose from uh, i will go with series 246 it is a really nice uh, lo uh, looking locomotive and it is pretty pretty good uh, i might eventually quickly review yeah these are more powerful they will speed up quicker but they can reach smaller oh class 47 in fact is even better it can get to 160 kilometers per hour but 153 is still good 
Uh, yeah, let's let's use this one. What have I just done? Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. that was Loftus. Uh, where is that rail cargo? Loftus plastic delivery, isn't it? I think it was, and I now lost track of this. Oh, I I basically did. I sold this vehicle. Yes, I I changed it so that there is no train running on on this line. Okay, so I, I, I basically need to buy a new one. Oh, gosh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, we will fix this. So I want this train to go with some new wagons that we have. So we got some platforms that can carry pretty much everything. And we are carrying plat uh, plastic. So we can go with boxcars. We can go with... Uh, what what else we can go for? Um, no, we can't go for these ones. Uh, these ones are limited to 120. Uh, do we have a better... No. Oh, okay. So I believe that's, that's the only... Oh, for some reason this can carry plastic and I can guarantee you that we we shouldn't be carrying plastic on MAF EIMS uh, because those are not container wagons. Right, we will use boxcars. They can carry 20 and we need to carry 180 in, in total. So we will use this one for that route. And this is... Uh, 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 rail cargo loftus plastic delivery there we go okay now without any any more fails please <laughs> i'll try to catch uh, at least one more train uh how far are we from oh is that that is late lee watchet express oh my goodness i just missed that train okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it Oh, oh, okay, there's one behind another, um, and that is not good. Right, I am going to to hold this train for a while on this platform. It will block other trains, but uh, it should be all right. Right, I am going to hold this one just quickly. I need to divide my attention between two trains oh my goodness me okay this one stopped so i will restart this connection when when the other one reaches the other end right that's another train that's uh, that's running on this line uh, obviously it just arrived and it seems to have the most modern loco that that we can use for for the type of work that it's going to be used for uh, so i'm not too worried about that what i am worried about is where is other trains is there anything else that is running on this oh there it is i love to steal so let's check this one. It doesn't need to be that fast, in fact, because none of those trains will reach that speed. Uh, but we might eventually review how much this vehicle is carrying. So let's go for diesel locomotive. And perhaps let's use class 140 where is this oh br 130 yeah that's the one uh, it can hit 140 kilometers per hour and it seems to be 
a good choice. This one can hit 120, but it has massive power. So I will use this one so it can speed up to the top speed on, on that short route. And it needs to carry steel, so let's uh, let's set it for steel delivery. Uh, let's use these wagons. They are very nice looking. Capacity of 70, 90 is perfectly fine, I guess. Five. I will increase that to seven to, to eight here. Yeah? Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, two, seven. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so seven, uh, seven cars it is. It is now going to look much better. Oh my goodness me. For some reason this one is held. This one is held. Wow, we got some traffic congestion in here. Oh, that's that's one of the trains that I really need to catch. Yeah. So, this one can carry 288 at a speed of 120. It is using very old locomotive. So, I am going to change that. Um, so, let's first use... Um, diesel locomotive and we need series 246 or perhaps any other um, I think we can go for class 47 they are pretty good in fact they are they are much better so hmm yeah i will use this one gold stripe uh, it looks really nice and let's give it a proper wagons so we can go with those they can carry 20 20 units of products at a speed of 160 uh, but these are much better looking we need a bit more of those obviously to to hit that 288 uh, 247, 260, um, 20 of those, uh, mediocre, yeah, I think we can, we can go for it, so let's modify this, it's gonna have much more rail cars, but it's gonna be good, wow, we got some traffic congestion here, Trains are waiting. Trains are waiting for something. Question is, what are you waiting for? Oh, okay, this line is set up to wait for full. I don't want you to wait for full. Wow. Uh, this this was unexpected that was very very unexpected right so that has been changed now uh, the question is where now is my my train it should be on its way oh that's a watch it is that now that's a mainline express uh, no that's a mainline train uh, where is express train uh, it definitely haven't got held on on this one. Where is she? Where is that train? That is also a mainline train. Where is my express train? That is an express train. There we go. It's about to hit watch it, which means that our upgrades for today are finished. Uh, we've done what we could have done. Uh, obviously, we don't need to worry about that too much. 
but right now what I need to worry about is the Watchet Express that is about to hit Watchet and that is a signal for me to start this train and, and board it because that is going to be a perfect moment to do such thing okay Express is waiting for, for a free path oh it's now clear so we should be good to go uh, as you can see this train can can hit this destination really really fast uh, mostly because of um, 300 km speed and and that's one of the few trains uh, that I got that can actually hit that uh, that speed oh which platform are you going for that is a good question okay why are you going for are you joking me now right just a quick quick change because I do not like the fact that this train is trying to go for a platform that is not meant for it so watch it central goes on platform 3 which is adjusted uh, for for this train's length as you can see this train can now get stuck there we go there is no path for this train and that is the problem yeah we now have a problem and i need to figure out how to fix that problem <laughs> oh my goodness me there is there is no way for this train to to actually be able is it Can it eventually get there? Oh, okay, this train can eventually reach that destination. Okay, that's that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, but I'm still going to, to change it. And with, with the next run, this train is going to go where I want it to go. So this one is started. And we can now board it. Um, so yeah, we will now enjoy a beautiful and nice views uh, associated with a good train ride. Oh dear, can you see those passengers? <laughs> oh well, the game is still not perfect, but it looks absolutely awesome. Just, just look at this. Uh, this graphic is absolutely amazing I'm I'm really really impressed how how well this game looks and and it actually runs pretty smooth um, on on this machine which is even better it's even much much better anyway uh, as soon as this lane will start uh, running correctly we will see switch of uh, of passengers between uh, normal uh, trains so uh, hopefully that will reduce the strain on farnham and uh, and loftus which are currently um, not able to transfer all the passengers through through our my uh, through my existing network mostly because those trains are already arriving full or half full and at this point not every single passenger can fit uh, and with that said um, reducing that strain uh, by introducing a direct connection or di direct link between those uh, two furthest away stations uh, will 
improve quality of life of our passengers wow just just look how smooth this game runs i'm i'm really totally impressed that is absolutely awesome uh, i believe that this series will now uh, step onto a new height uh, with with that new graphics with that new quality uh, wow that that was actually a bit loud but <laughs> uh, you probably won't won't hear that on on the recording but uh, those two trains passing next to each other were, were actually loud uh, it's it really hit my ears anyway uh, that's that's one of the things that I need to adjust like sound settings and and such uh, but it will be done uh, hopefully before arrival of series 2 and this lovely train ride is uh, I believe one of the last location uh, well one of the last occasion for us to actually discuss uh, where that series is going so as I've been announcing for past two or three episodes uh, we are now entering the period where I want to wrap up this series uh, it's been done on on a very old map uh, we we managed to progress until year 2000 uh, but in general all my lines uh, everything associated with those lines are in a bit of a mess I'm not going to lie it was a training ground for me somehow uh, somewhat a good testing ground uh, but we need to introduce some sort of standardization to, to build within uh, similar standards or to build within a similar look uh, so what I've been thinking about is a switch to um, switch to oh, why is this train stopping anyway uh, switch to a new series which will be uh, teamed uh, as as you guys will will choose it hopefully uh, so in the comment section below this video uh, let me know about the team I should select for a series 2 which will start next week uh, as this video goes live on Wednesday I believe um, Friday or Saturday I think on Saturday yes I will be probably uh, preparing for a for beginning of a new series on on Saturday uh, so with that said that's the day when I will select a team uh, so there are three main teams of, of this game uh, you can go for uh, Europe you can go for United States or we can go for Asia team uh, of uh, uh, of vehicles of of art style or of, of general style of my uh, railway we will be focusing uh, on a railway uh, building in in a new series so that's that's one of the things that is not changing uh, the main focus will be on on trains uh, we will support those uh, those lines with uh, with trucks uh, well with uh, yeah with trucks and buses uh, we will obviously try to use some more uh, ships and perhaps we will set up um, an aircraft um, line between between two or three towns I will also try to select a, a bit bigger map than is currently available in the game so I will go for uh, one of those megalomania maps which will offer me a little bit more of uh, freedom uh, that will be tested uh, that will basically test this rig to, to its limit and it would it will give us a bit bigger area to, to play with uh, so I look forward to, to see how this is going to turn out uh, unfortunately our high-speed train was held at uh, at Loftus which I'm not super happy about but well it is what it is 
uh, so it needs to speed up once more and it would it will probably not reach that 300 km speed even though trucks at entire length should support high speed trains <laughs> because it was all upgraded it was all double checked so all those trucks support 300 km per hour uh, unfortunately as you can see well those trains still struggle to, to reach that speed even even if the route is very very long uh, there's just too much traffic going around uh, these stations for me to uh, to let those trains uh, to reach that uh, that speed they are still faster than the normal main line because obviously they don't need to do all those stops uh, in in the middle of of the way uh, but they will still be held up anyway Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm getting really, really distracted by what's happening on the screen and what, what I want to say. Anyway, uh, let, me do let me know in the comment down below uh, what kind of team you would like to see in a brand new Series 2 of Transport Fever. There's not much voting time, uh, I know, but well there will be other location uh, well other occasions to to make uh, some choices regard in regards to various transport fever uh, series uh, because i'm planning to to continue feature this game for a while um, so definitely i will be posting those videos even though they are not super popular at this moment who knows maybe uh, maybe when I will be doing similar video for uh, for series 3 or to, to announce the beginning of series 3 uh, with with a brand new different team uh, we might see some uh, some some more uh, viewers uh, however at this point let's be realistic pretty much not many people are watching this series and I would like to uh, make it a bit more attractive for everyone so uh, yeah take your choice uh, leave me a comment down below let me know if if you would like to see uh, American trains if you would like to see uh, maybe more Asia themed trains or perhaps uh, you would like to stick with uh, Europe uh, obviously the game will be modded I will put some mods in uh depending on which team you will select i might have more or less of these mods because obviously uh, the most mods i have for now or at this moment are for uh european team uh, but we can uh, also go for asia or we can go for america and I'm still able to to create a good and fantastic content for that. Uh, so have no fear, we can still make a good uh, videos. Obviously, if nobody will comment or if there will be no selection by by the time that uh, we will select, I will automatically go for European team. So there will be no Asian, there will be no uh, American style trains and locomotives unless uh, one or two of them will be uh, snuck into the mods that I will accidentally select uh, but we will just uh, not use those um, those locos or, or vehicles anyway uh, as you can see we have now uh, arrived at uh, at Watchet uh, the train pretty much left the passengers uh, he picked up a brand new batch of 10 passengers so we are now um, slightly losing money on on this business uh, and on this route but it is what it is uh, we've just lost in a race with <laughs> uh, with Metroliner but well uh, those trains are are still fast and now we begin our journey back uh, to uh, to Lee, and hopefully this time uh, we will be able to to reach uh, 300 kilometers per hour. I'm I'm still surprised how well this game works. Uh, it's like 
I had only one small stutter, and and it's because uh, because the game was loading some some details, but it it pretty much runs very very smooth. Um, I can just feel the difference between how how well the game is running right now and how bad it used to run uh, before I upgraded my rig. Wow, it is absolutely different game. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, that's a main line, I believe. Uh, passenger train. Uh, one of those high-speed multi-station dropouts. And that is our very very old um, cargo train which I need to upgrade in order to to bring this outer lanes into a proper speed because they now support up to 300 kilometers per hour I believe or no I upgraded them to, to a lane that supports 177 or 167 kilometers per hour uh, but not every single of my uh, cargo trains that are moving around uh, or along uh, main line are able to hit that speed uh, that was one of them uh, so I still need to upgrade it at one point so obviously I'm not sure if, if I should do that right now because I, I really enjoy that train ride <laughs> I'm not going to lie it's really enjoyable to, to watch, watch this train go and here goes another mainline passenger train. Uh, they are spacing out a little bit, uh, which is very, very good. And hopefully we will soon see some, uh, some more traffic uh, along the mainline uh, as we hit uh, Loftus, which is very, very close. We are gaining speed, uh, we are now hitting 242 kilometers per hour. Wow, that is astonishing and, and the game runs smooth, there is there is no lag. It, it just runs, it just goes, it's, it's just something new, wow. This, this really looks amazing. Anyway, 260 kilometers per hour. Can we hit that barrier of 300? Can we do it? Can we finally travel at the top speed of this train? 270. We are very close, boys. We are very close. 273, 74, 75, 6, 7, 8, 280 there we go just 19 kilometers per hour if nobody will hold us off next to Loftus station we should be able to hit 300 kilometers per hour 290 oh and the train is slowing down I can't believe this okay there is some sort of a slowdown I'm not sure why but this train for some reason is slowing down to what I believe might be a full stop. Yes, we are slowing down to a full stop because another train is crossing our path. Well, we've tried, we, we definitely tried and we failed. Uh, we are not able to, to hit 300 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Oh well, uh, we might still do it, uh, there is still a chance, uh, there is still half of the map left. If nothing will hold us uh, near Farnham, we should be able to eventually gain enough momentum to, to speed up before we hit Lee. And this train looks quite empty and uh, I believe it might be another express that is coming back which is very very good uh, because those trains actually met pretty much midway between uh, two stations which means they are perfectly spaced and passengers won't have long waiting times at either end. 
And there we go. Uh, 160 kilometers per hour at the station, uh, which means that we have a great chance to actually uh, hit 300 before we we reach Lee. 180 kilometers, uh, and we are passing through the station. 186. Can we make it, boys and girls? Can we make it? Well, that's a good question. 200. You can now feel that difference when we are passing next to a cargo train. <laughs> wow. 210. Well, we are getting there. We are definitely getting there. There's still a long way to go. 220. You can do it. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. You can do it. 230. Come on. Just a little bit more. 240. I know this train can do it. However, it's it's taking pretty pretty long to to speed up and we are getting closer and closer. And we are at, I think we might be a bit too close to to hit 300 right now. That's 260. Oh, a little bit of a lag. I'm I'm actually surprised. But I guess I can I can give the game that one stutter. It's it's not a big deal. Uh, it's still again it's still running much smoother than it used to be so uh, I'm, I'm really not not mad at that 274 5 there we go we can we can do it boys and girls we can do it to 77 and the speed is not increasing anymore because we are going uphill um, yeah, no, the speed is now decreasing. Oh dear, oh goodness me. I think that's because of this curve, which is way too sharp. And now we are pretty much at the train station. So there is no chance we are going to hit that 300 kilometers per hour. So I'm guessing I need to uh, create, or I would have to uh, have a completely separate line for uh, TGV to, to actually be able to, to hit 300 kilometers per hour because we've been close we've been very very close uh, and the top speed uh, that that we managed to, to record was uh, just over 280 kilometers per hour which is pretty pretty decent I, I'm not gonna lie uh, but it's not it's not that yet anyway that is it for for our today's train ride so let's quickly review if there is anything we can quickly change before wrapping up this video so we got brand new trains here uh, this one is old one that is a normal train that is high-speed train these are high speed already is there any slow speed train I think there was one I think this guy yeah this guy definitely needs some changing so we can eventually upgrade this chap it has 216 capacity uh, those rail cars definitely need an upgrade so I will select diesel. I will go for class 47 again. Uh, gold stripe. Uh, it's really, really good looking locomotive. And now we need a cargo. Wagons. 
and I believe those are yeah that's gondola that's this that's a steak car and yeah I, I'm not going to use math uh, because they, they look absolutely awful and I'm gonna be transferring some other cargoes I believe uh, what's uh, what was that transferring? That's a good question. Hmm. So I don't want to limit myself to 120 kilometers per hour. But I don't want to... What were you transferring in fact? Bread. Oh, okay. Normal cargo, which is... Everything is on this list. So, yeah. We need to raise this train to 220 and modify. There we go. And this train is now modified. It should be able to reach speeds of 150 kilometers per hour, which is making a little bit of a difference in the long run. Oh goodness me, look at this gridlock. Oh my goodness me. Are we serious? Wow, there is a heavy need for a passenger line between Loftus and Sandwich. That is absolutely gridlocked. Just look at this. Wow. <laughs> what is this Farham Loftus? Why is this bus moving here if... Oh, okay, the, these guys need to go through through the town in order to, to actually make it there. So that is the scale of the problem. Wow. Mm. Not going to lie, we need to figure out some ways to... To make things go smoother in this area perhaps I could smash a massive roundabout in here let me just quickly redo those streets because we've now reached a point where where it it became a little bit ridiculous so uh, we need a massive road that will go here perhaps and now we need to build a good roundabout so I want three lane roundabouts I want this one uh, perhaps 50 uh, yeah that's no that's too much 40 yeah that's the one look at this that seems to work better so we can now put this roundabout here and it should work we can now connect this road to this roundabout there we go we can now connect this road to this roundabout and this road to this roundabout and it should help at least a little bit uh, we can also improve quality of life of our citizens by upgrading these roads and that should definitely help okay we'll we'll see in a minute okay the cars are moving and everything is slowing down is that a highway Oh no, it, it isn't. Now it is. So the cars should move faster. Uh, we definitely don't want this road to connect in here. 
we can support connection that goes to oh we can support this type of connection but we can't support any connection to this place in fact i can lock this bit of a road uh, otherwise uh, ai will try to connect to it and i don't want that to happen uh, we need to keep this road moving because as you can see it is absolutely mental anyway we we are done with this video we are also done with this fantastic series and we will definitely be solving some of those issues preemptively in a brand new series that will start from next wednesday hopefully uh, so once more before i will wrap this video up uh, Cast your votes, uh, put, uh, put the comments down below the video, what, what kind of uh, team would you like to see. Remember that you have time only until Saturday. Uh, on Saturday I will uh, review what, what was written, if there were any comments, because there is no, not many people actually watching those videos. Uh, but if you happen to, to watch it, if you happen to enjoy it and you would like to have your own input into, into a new series, uh, here's your occasion and you can uh, pretty much select what kind of um, area we are going to visit with our next series. So you can choose from Europe, America or Asia. Uh, how the map is going to look? I don't know yet i will try to get as big and as good map as possible to support mainly uh, rail traffic however if there is a big massive lake or if there is a, a big enough uh, water body we will definitely use some ships as well we will use some planes perhaps on on a very very long uh, routes so there is uh, plenty of opportunities for us. The series will go as usual every Wednesday. Uh, I will try to post one video. And yes, we will also use uh, a variety of different mods so that uh, we can put some extra vehicles into the game. We can uh, make our uh, depots work more efficiently and most importantly to look much better than than they do uh, so thank you very much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get informed about my new uploads hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below have a great day and see you all later later out